Hey everybody, Marcos Viegas here with Andre Fanfora, who's taking on Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. this Saturday on Showtime at the StubHub Center. Andrew, you're going up against a guy who's normally bigger than his opponents, and I saw you up stage with him. You're a lot bigger than Junior. Talk to me about not only having that advantage, but the other advantages you're bringing into this fight. Uh, yes, you know, I'm a little bit bigger, but uh, Julio is uh, a big guy too, you know, like like not really he weighed like 190 pounds like same like me that you know that's why we go a little bit down and meet in the 172 pounds i think so it's you know it's good weight for both of us uh, i think so you know uh chavez is great guy great uh, great boxer uh he proved this you know in a couple fight before but you know i'm ready for this you know challenge i'm uh, i'm prepared for this fight and uh, this this fight was be a war Saturday night. You mentioned that the fight's at 172. Now, are you happy about that, having to cut those extra three pounds? Uh, doesn't matter, you know. Like uh, when I fight with Stevenson, I was one. We got contract for 175, but I was 173 point something. Then pound or two go down. It's not not big problem for me, you know. And uh, I just don't eat breakfast last day, and I and I, I got away. That, but uh, uh, yeah, you know, I'm ready. I'm ready for this fight. Uh, my weight is good, you know. I'm in a very good shape, and uh, I can't wait, you know, Saturday night. Was that something the 172 that was originally set for the fight, or it went from 75, and then recently it changed to 72? No, no. In the, in the first, he won a 170. Uh, then we you know negotiation 171. Then then we stop in the 172. Uh, in the first in the first in the first original one, uh, we go to 172. But we uh, we both uh, decide to go one pound up to 172. And I think so. It's uh, you know comfortable weight for both of us. Now looking at Chavez Jr., he's been a year that he hasn't fought, so he's been uh, inactive. Really, how do you feel you could take advantage of his inactivity? Uh, you know, it's it's uh, it's good for me uh, because you know he don't fight one year, but it's 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 nothing because he got a lot of fights in his career, and I think so. Uh, maybe you know this rest give him you know more energy and he's more hungry boxing. You you never know. I don't think so. He got uh, uh, that kind of uh, rest before, you know, and we'll see with this fight help this help him or not. Do you look at the competition you faced and then you compare it to the competition that Junior's faced? In your opinion, have you faced better competition than him? Uh, I think so, yes. I look at his eyes and I, you know, I don't see nothing then, you know. In, in my eye, you can, you know, you can see, you know, I'm winning the fight. But it's not, I don't see this. So in the face-off then, did you notice that as well? Yeah. He was maybe a little scared or something? Yes, I don't know, scared, but like, I think so, tired. Like unsure? A little bit, but you know everything can change after in a way and when we go up and uh, get energy you know I think so like I say I think so this is you know hard fight for me but I'm prepared for this and I want to show everybody I'm with this fight what do you feel he does well and what do you feel he does really bad uh, he got well you know offense he got great offense he got good punch from both hands uh, he got good thing good move with his head uh, but you know when he when he go more to offense he open too much and that then I can you know uh, punch him punch him you know good and knock out him uh, but uh, you know uh, I got you know good jab good right hand uh, always both fighters got good things and bad things and we'll see how how everything works today so tell me if I'm crazy or not so from what you just told me I would think that you might want to wait a little bit and expect Chavez to come strong because he's been off for a year. He wants to show that he's in good shape and you're going to wait to counter punch him and you're going to catch him with the counter punch. Maybe, <laughs> maybe, but maybe I start, you know, fight with him in the first round and don't give him chance to warm up. We'll see, you know, how, how everything's going in the first round and first round show everything how we fight. Andrew, can't wait. From what you said, it sounds like it's going to be an exciting fight. It happens this Saturday at the StubHub Center on Showtime here with Andre Fanfora taking on Julio Cesar Chavez Jr.